All right, it's time to die in wax traps today. Got the fire going right there, and I got a big trash can full of water. It's starting to simmer a little bit, but it's kind of, it was kind of windy out here earlier, so I put this big cardboard box around it. Not sure if that's the safest idea, but it's working out fine right now. Got a whole bunch of traps to do today. Probably about 200, 150 to 200 traps today. Some more wood. And after we're done dying, got a whole bunch of wax. We're gonna wax all my coyote traps in. Here's the trap die I'm using. It's just the logwood die. It's really cheap to get. It's about four bucks a bag. And it says, it says it can do 36 traps, average size traps. So I got six bags of these. Not exactly sure how many traps I got. So I'm just gonna start out with two bags in the in the pot and I'll start putting the traps on the hook. Alright, the water's simmering pretty good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these up. And you don't want to get this stuff on your hands because it'll stain it pretty bad. But you just want to go ahead and sprinkle it in there so it doesn't clog up. All right, there's the first bag. Give it a quick stir. I'm gonna go ahead and add a third bag, and I'll stir it again. This is gonna be my first time ever dying and waxing traps, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing this right. Um, that's what, that's after three bags. I stirred it up a little bit. So if you've done this before and you notice I'm doing anything wrong, please tell me in the comments because I'd really appreciate that. So the package says to leave the traps in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I was doing a lot of research online about how to dye traps and everyone was talking about putting them in for uh, about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So I think I'm just going to do half hour half hour to an hour that should I'm pretty sure that'll be good all right I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my 160s in there we go I'm gonna add a couple more cuz there's only a few on there I just gotta wait about an hour till all the traps are ready to come out of the die. All the other people I watch dying traps, you see all that film on the top? Everyone says to scrape that out. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use to scrape it out. So I think I'm just going to leave it there and when I pull the traps out, if they look nice and dark, I'll go ahead and leave it like that. I almost forgot to mention, before you start dying the traps, you wanna make sure your traps have a light coat of rust on them, like that and all my other traps are completely rusted they still work perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with them they just look rusty but those have a bunch of rust on them so they'll take the dye really easy um, there's a new pan I have on there it has a little bit of rust um, it should still take the dye because there's no grease on it alright this water is actually boiling right now I don't think I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I know some people like to boil it, but the ideal way to dye traps is simmering it, simmering the water, because if you boil it, the water can get so hot that it weakens the steel. So it's better to just have it simmering. You can see it's boiling, maybe. Yeah, you can kind of see it boiling a ton. But it's still got about 10 more minutes, and then we'll pull the traps up. And you're gonna be dying foothold traps, Make sure to have, if you have closed jaws, make sure you have something in there to keep the jaws open so the dye can get down inside the jaws. So you can put anything you want in there. I put a rock in this. But for offset jaws, it doesn't matter so much because you got the, the offset in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the traps up, see what they look like. Oh yeah, they're pretty black. Ugh. All right, there's all the traps. Comparison, 
turned them, turned them nice and black. Looks great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these dyed. Probably gonna take forever, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back to you when we're gonna start waxing some traps. All right, I finally got all the traps dyed. I'll go ahead and show you that. There they all are. Got them all dyed. Um, the ones that didn't have a lot of rust on them, you can see it didn't take the dye very well. It still got some dye on it where there's some rust, but all the others took the dye really well. Perfect, nice dark black color. So all those are done. Now we got the wax melting in the pot. There's some more right there we're going to put in. And about the film that was on top of the water when we were dying the traps, uh, I never did anything with that. I just put the traps in there and left them. And all the traps came out fine as you can see. And all the traps I actually only left them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. And there was plenty of time for all the traps to take the dye really well. So that worked out really nice. And if any of you are wondering why I dye my traps, it's because it keeps the rust out of the traps and it, it, pre it basically prevents the traps from rusting. And the reason I wax my traps is it makes the traps scent free, there's no more scent on them. And for coyotes it keeps the traps coming out of the ground really fast so waxing smooths the traps and keeps the traps scent free. Alright, all the wax is melted down pretty good. Um, when, you, when you're melting wax, you don't want to have the fire too hot because the wax is flammable. So you want it at the lowest point, at the lowest temperature, where the wax is still going to be in a very runny consistency. So this is all melted. I'm going to put my trap in there. And I'm going to wait about 15 seconds. So the trap is the same, gets up to the same temperature as the, as the wax. Because if you pull it out too early, the trap is, the wax is going to get all hard on the, on the trap and you don't want that. So you wait till it comes out. Just like that and you want it to run off just like water. So there's a very thin coat of wax on the trap. And I'm going to get the bottom side of the trap. Alright, that trap's good to go. That's how I'm doing all the coyote traps. Alright, I finally got everything done. Got all the coyote traps waxed. You can see there's no globs of it on there. Well, there's a little bit on some of them. You see that one has a little bit extra wax on there. I did have a ton of extra wax and I didn't want to waste it, so I did all my small coon traps. And they turned out pretty good. I did put them in the grass. So there's a bunch of grass stuck to them now, but I don't really care about that. It'll eventually come off, but they all working nice and smooth. That's it for this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.